Hi, my name is Paco Gorris. I'm one of the actors of Un Movimiento Extraño, a short by Francisco Lezama. We are from Argentina and I hope you enjoy the short film. My name is Laila Maltz. I'm also an actress from Un Movimiento Extraño, the short film that is in competition of Francisco Lezama. And we are very happy to be here uh, presenting the film. So I hope you uh, see it. I'm Francisco de Sama, <laughs> the director of the short film Un Movimiento Extraño, and uh, I hope that you, it's a, it's a short about economic crisis in Argentina and the obsession of Argentinians with uh, dollarization, dollar saving, and, and our, our crisis. Uh, I hope that you like it. Cambio, casa de cambio. Euro, dollar, cambio. Cambio, cambio. Cambio, casa de cambio. Euro, dólar, cambio. Cambio, dólares, cambio, cambio. Cambio, cambio, cambio. Dólar, euro, real, cambio. Cambio, casa de cambio. Euro, dólar, real. Cambio, casa de cambio. Euro, dólar real. Hi, welcome to the Teddy TV. My name is Jean-Boy Bobak, and this time we are discussing the short film, An Odd Turn. Hi, welcome to the Teddy. Thank welcome you. Welcome to the festival. Thank you so much. Hi. Um, maybe let's just start with what was your point of departure for creating this short? A, a specific point of departure. Yeah, like yes. how uh, did it come about? Well, I've been writing and directing short films like for 10 years now. Mm. I started in 2015 with a short that I, I've written and I co-direct with a friend of mine. And I start of uh, developing a method of writing that it's uh, about like collecting ideas, different ideas. Mm -hmm. And the departure is always uh, answering the question of how to put all this idea together and to give a form, uh, like a structure, a narrative structure yeah. to these ideas that are really digressive. Yeah. You know? And I, I find it easier to do screw-up comedies uh -huh. you know? because the screw-up comedy is a genre that allows me to put very different and uh, ideas that are completely opposite, you know? Mm. And I don't have one point of departure. Yeah. I wanted to continue this, this uh, work with uh, dollarization and obsession of Argentinians with saving in dollars. Yeah. And then I have another idea that was related to my, my job at Buenos mm -hmm. Aires. I used to work at a, a film theater that was inside a, a prestigious Museum, the okay. Latin America Museum of Buenos Aires, Malva. And I work there at the theater, and at, uh, at night, every night, they, they closed the door, they closed the door, and I was alone with the security guards. Mm -hmm. you know? uh, Laila plays a, a security guard in the short film. And I have this uh, vision, or sort of, of uh, I don't know, insight, I don't know, I don't know the word, uh, of a security guide that it's uh, alone uh, at the museum and she foresees, she feels that it's going to be a robbery. So yeah. she improvised like with a, a pendulum, a sort of a future lecture, <laughs> I don't know yeah. how to say it. And she, she sees that the dollar is going to have a really, really sharp and skyrocketing uh, rise. Uh, rise. Yeah. So that was the first thing that that came to my mind, and I started to structure the the ideas, all the ideas that I have and I've been mm -hmm. collecting, and I I also used the ideas that I couldn't use in the previous short films. Also, mm -hmm. and then I try to like with forceps, no, no, with, uh, I, yeah. I try to force it, I force it, and the, the form of the, the the narrative and the structure is like the result of this work of writing that it's more a uh, work of organizing different ideas. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's, I think, the, the, the final tone of the short film is not like narrative and perfect. 
you know, it's more like yeah. digressive. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. And I really like this method. It's a method yeah. that I've been developing and I, I, I'm going to keep on developing mm -hmm. if, if I yeah. can shoot something yeah, in the sure. future. Yeah, I mean, it, it makes perfect sense. Let's talk a bit about these, uh, the main characters, the two main characters at the heart of this film, portrayed by the two of you, of course. Can you tell me a bit about who these characters are and how did you approach portraying them? <coughs> well, I start. <laughs> if you want. OK. Uh, what was the question uh, uh, again, please? Who, whom are these characters? This, so who okay, are you perfect. playing? Who uh, is well, uh, I think that uh, my type of uh, working, uh, because I, I come from a, from a studying uh, theater, that it's more like, uh, like how do you say, like not uh, constructing characters. Mm -hmm. It's more like uh, trying to have uh, the less possible ideas of of, yeah. of the things in general that you can. So so you so you so you don't um, yes like create characters uh, from the psychology or or from the history. So uh, my my can my kind of approach uh, and more with. Fran, that we study in the same uh, uh, the like training school or, or like a, a yes. workshop yeah. of our of our acting, acting teacher uh, is the same. So we yeah. have like this uh, same uh, type of code that it's uh, not having uh, too many ideas of or for me uh, as an actress of what I am going to do. Like yeah. uh, sometimes uh, he g gives me the the script. And I read it, and well, he tells me, I don't know, two or three uh, ideas like this, like the security guard that it's at night looking uh, the the art mm -hmm. uh, in the shadows and uh, some things that this that for me is very funny, like uh, the ideas that Frank have. So uh, that's the thing that uh, for me is um, entertaining, you know, like yeah. uh, he has very. Uh, delirant and very uh, uh, ideas, very funny. So for me, uh, just putting the clothes, <coughs> the clothes of a bodyguard, that is something so strange in my life. Yeah, uh, sure. it's something that uh, puts me in a, in a entertained way. Okay. And uh, I don't know that I, I think that I, I approach uh, by intuitive. Uh, uh, well, I'm not talking very well, sorry, <laughs> but uh, well, but I, I don't know that. Like for me, uh, it's very nice not to know a lot of what I'm doing and in the present and uh, having fun in the present, in the in the moment that, that we are working, mm -hmm. and that Fran uh, also works a lot with the sounds. You know, like uh -huh. um, so. So the way we work is more in the present than than knowing mm -hmm. what we are right. going to. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Because I think, sorry, I interrupt you and then we continue. But I think that when we work in the present, there's something more like a life. Mm -hmm. And it's a method that we develop, no? It's yeah, not the right sure. method, it's one method. Yes. But we think that it's more alive. Uh -huh. And what we try to reach, or I try to reach as a director, is that the films that I do are uh, really, really alive. With yeah plenty and plenty of information, like the silent films of the Lumiere brothers at yeah. the beginning of the cinema, that they try to get all this, um, how do you say, like chance and certain, no, ha hazard, how do you say, chance, like yeah. the entropy, like yeah. elements that, city elements, uh, people that crosses, right. uh, the gestures of Paco and Laila that for me are yeah. like two great actors that have this um, idea of acting that it's more like relaxed because we don't yeah. construct characters. Mm -hmm. we, we are more like surprised at the end of the process with yeah. what we, we've done. But yes. we don't know, uh, I don't know firstly that I'm going to do a screwball comedy. It mm -hmm. ends up and it's not what even a screwball? comedy. What is screwball? Screwball is like uh, comedia enredos. Ah, ah. Yes, like, like the last, uh, como se dice corto, short, short. that we uh, filmed in New York. Uh, we didn't know each other, yeah. and I took a, a passage. ¿Cómo se dice pasaje? Yes, yeah, a plane ticket. A plane ticket. Yeah. I went to New York, and I start doing what he tells me. Yes. I was having fun. Ha ha ha. We met someone in the street. Another one, and I didn't know what was going to come <laughs> from that. And then uh, it took uh, very good uh, comedy. 
but because of also for me the the way he 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 writes and yeah. and then what because happens? Because the, well, the previous short film was about like characters that were were lost in New York, okay. and they buy buy like uh, cheap clothes in New York City to buy with overpriced in Argentina. Yeah. With that and do something, uh, some some kind yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. like this short film, like kind of a business, mm. a little business. Um, uh, it's like in Spanish, it's a manganeta. So like, mm. uh, I don't say that in English. And, <laughs> and uh, the yeah. characters are lost, and I believe that the best way of directing characters that are lost is it's to be lost knowing. by myself also. Uh -huh. like yeah, not yeah, knowing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and in my case, um, for me, pretty similar, but the most interesting thing for me of the short is like this um, idea that a economic crisis also reflects in the, in the decadence of what and how people connect each other. Mm. So it's like there's uh, an economical crisis in Argentina and in the short film and that reflects in the crisis of how people connect. Yeah. So these, these two characters um, know each other because they are exchanging dollars, but at the same time they are exchanging another thing too. So that's for me the, the most interesting thing about this. Like, um, mm -hmm. there's crisis yeah. <laughs> everywhere. In, in, everywhere, in the country, <laughs> sure. in the economy, the atmosphere, in the crisis. atmosphere, and here, you know? Yeah. They, they, they are together, but at the same time, they uh, can't uh, yes, connect, connect. Uh, like uh, for real. And this uh, thing about Grinder that it's also very current nowadays, yes. it's yeah. for me very important because this character, um, I try to, the way I approach it was more what I don't show on screen uh, more than what I show what I don't say, uh, maybe I want like to be with boys, but I don't say that. And yeah. I, yeah. I have the app grinder, but then I told her and... No, I, I show you the... Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. The yeah. App. She exactly. told me and I am like, I don't know that app. And, and then I have But my, perhaps you were lying to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah. We don't I, know. And that's <laughs> the way like um, all the characters are like trying to, to find the way to connect. But at the same time, there's this crisis in the atmosphere. So that's yeah, right. And as you say, like this is like interesting in the film how um, all of like this topic of speculation and exchange it really is like dripping down to the very personal lives of people. Um, but it was also very layered how you worked with with this whole idea and, and concept of speculation. It happens on so many different levels of the film. Can you talk a bit about this aspect? Yes, the speculation. The speculation in Argentina is something that is like crossing like <laughs> lots, everywhere. Lot, every, everywhere. Not everywhere, the, the upper and middle classes, the lower classes mm -hmm. are like condemned to uh, earn money in pesos and th those pesos are uh, super devaluated. Like yeah. we have like an inflation of 100% in okay. 2022, like just after the pandemics. Yeah. And then in 2023, we have like an inflation of uh, 1,240, 1, no, like 140%. One, mm. no? And what happens is your salary, if you is low, yeah. it, it gets deranged, it gets like, like dust, you know, yeah. immediately. And I wanted to do um, a short film about this crisis. Yeah. The, uh, and the idea, this is uh, the, the main idea, I guess. It's a, a girl that foresees a sharp rise of the dollar. So she uh, gets, uh, how do you say, like dismissed from her show, like his spell? No. Yeah, he's like fired. Fired. From, yeah. from and you don't job. know why she's fired, but she, she like tries to get fired. And she gets fired. She has a, like, uh, indemnization, like, uh, like a severance pay, severance pay. Yeah. and with that sever severance pay, she buy dollars, and that dollars, like raised, because yeah. th there are moments of a uh, high raise of the dollar in Argentina, and all the people go, the, all the people that have pesos, 
mm. extra pesos to go to buy dollars, yeah. go running, and it's like corrida cambiaria, goes running, all the people goes running to exchange houses, yeah. the legal and the illegal ones. This character of Paco is an illegal exchange yeah. house, and he goes to the houses, and, and you buy, you buy dollars, and that means that your salary, it's like tri triples, triples, right. dollars, no? Yeah. And I wanted to develop a short story that concentrates what's happening in the economic crisis in Argentina. That it's the idea of a character that saves herself only, mm -hmm. and she has dollars. So there's a kind of erotic relationship between having dollars and the race of dollars yeah. know, at the end of short film. Yeah. And, and as she saves herself, she enters in a sort of personal and lonely romantic comedy. She's mm -hmm. in love with this guy, but it's obvious that this guy is not going to be with her. Yeah. Because she's in another channel, you know? Yeah. When you have dollars, it's like you're living in a tower. Yes. And all the people are poor and the city is it's like going like poorer and poorer. Yeah. It's like uh, we have like pri private neighborhoods in Buenos Aires, you know that? Uh, like countryside, 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 out of the city. Like that neighbors are like these gated communities. Yes, yeah. Yeah. neighborhoods that mm -hmm. are like. More old. guards with more privacy. Yeah. Yes. privacy. With security yeah. guards. More security. But there was yeah. a film last year of uh, Martin Shanley, a friend of us, mm -hmm. that it was about. Uh, uh, it was here in Berlin, yeah, I It was yeah. a, a day. And it was about this, it was great because he depicted perfectly this idea of the, the this closed neighbor. Yes. No? Yeah. Uh, for, for me, the dollar, the, the buy, buying dollars, it's like a, like, like living in a country, in a, ca mm. in in a country, in but a uh, in a neighborhood that is close. isolated from the reality. So what you see in the short film more, more atmospherically is uh, a girl that starts living a romantic comedy, like a North American nor romantic yeah. comedy, but the, the reality is really Latin American, really Argentinian, yeah. and you hear there are lots of mobilizations, you know, and you see them because we shot. Mm. Uh, it was really weird, the shooting, because it was about this. And yeah. when we started shooting, it happened. It was in okay. a script. Yeah, and then uh, it happened. And it the happened. Yeah. It was the most, uh, the, in 2018, it was the first biggest rise of the dollar, dollar and yeah. we were shooting in the same place so what you see in the short film for me it's great and that yeah. allows cinema to to yeah, yeah, not yeah. me but the, the i don't know the, the serendipity the chance yeah. is that we <laughs> started we started shooting that and uh, it happened that so the people that you are seeing like walking yeah. and the voices that we we record yeah. Uh, are all real and there uh -huh. are like mobilizations like tum, tu, tu, tum, tu, yeah, tu, yeah, yeah. Tum, that, that is like uh, real in Argentina yeah, yeah. and we have like for example the 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 parties like the the left parties that went like the, yes the, I don't know, say the unions you know the unions like on the streets and Laila character lives like an uh, isolated romantic comedy while mm -hmm. Paco is part of the reality yeah and he and the end of the short film is like this is going to get worse. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. This got For sure. Why? Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, we shot it in 2019, but I, I, when I shoot it, yeah. I thought that it was a little bit cynical. Mm -hmm. So I decided uh, to not show this yeah. short thing. And I keep it under, you know, I, when yeah, you abandon something. Yeah. Well, I was really sad because it was really hard to shoot. It was really hard to shoot. Like, we shoot a lot of locations. And, yeah. But I thought that it was really cynical. And the, the time passing in these years, the pandemics and everything, mm. uh, so the, the kind of, of making uh, more real what the fiction that we do. Yeah. I don't know if it is clear, but as it's a sensation, you know? Yeah, I sure. thought that it was not ethical at the beginning, mm. but it, uh, that, that was my concern. Nobody yeah. understood in the, in the crew, yeah, but, yeah, I, yeah. but I, I felt that. Okay. And I decided yeah. to keep it aside. Yeah. And four years, it, it's like now it's like the reality that we are living and now our president that was it's not my president but it's the president <laughs> it's my president, it's the elected I, president. I, I, I actually I hate him yeah uh, Javier Milei uh, won with a promise of absolute dollarization right. of the economy and the people I don't, I don't know what they are thinking they're thinking that yeah. he's going to give you the same uh, salary in dollars yeah. Like, yeah. like triples or not triples way much yeah, and and there's a institutional 
crisis and it's a homophobic party with a lot of people that is uh, no yeah per saying like homophobic things yeah and, and then I decided that this short film has to have to be finished and have to mm. be shown and uh, we shot yeah. like some stuff at the uh, at, we shot like, tiny things yeah like two days of shooting like two I don't say Ferre Thomas I don't know how to say it say the yeah. and we, no Regina no <laughs> and we we finish it yeah and now we we feel or I feel that it's really uh, it's really actual because it's it's ha it ha the project has had a lot of history inside of it you know? yeah for sure and we will get to back to this um, aspect of the film as well but you also mentioned it that um, yeah that there is a bit of this um, erotic tension that comes with with all of this speculation mm -hmm. and and all of this exchange and everything which is very dominant in the film um, so I'm wondering about how did you connect these these two things through uh, through your character for instance the the exchange person who is go who goes to houses but offers all kinds of exchange um, yeah. in those scenarios. Between the two characters of yours, there is also an interesting exchange going on. There is this whole platform of Grindr where there is like yeah. exchanging happening. So I'm wondering how did you connect these two um, mm. themes in the film? For me, it's in Argentina, it's pretty common, but all the people have a lot of works, you know? Mm -hmm. You don't have only one work or you have to, to survive, you do a lot of things. So um, we were talking about the economical crisis and I think it's very funny how uh, Fran uh, managed to portray that because my character, uh, he exchanged dollars, but he also needs another work or, you know, uh, right. he al also needs uh, other things to survive and in that um, situation he also finds these things about going to this lady's house to exchange dollars and also have like these uh, very intimate situations yeah. like if that it's part of the job you know mm -hmm. so that's for me really interesting because um, I don't know it gets the situation uh, more deep, you know, yeah. and um, also the character of Laila, uh, he's a bodyguard, but he, she also then, you know, uh, have no work, and so she's changed dollars, and that's the way he, she met me. So this kind of multiple situation, mm -hmm. uh, it's very Argentinian, you know, like having two jobs or having to do an extra job to, mm. to. Mm to have more money, so yeah. that and tension. Also for me, it's funny, like the, um, how do you say, the uh, fix, the, me the la mezcla, uh, the mm. mix uh, between like uh, something more uh, mystical, like yeah, uh, of exactly. the characters that uh, mm. are in a very hard reality, but uh, also are a, a little bit like uh, uh, corridos, how do you say, like they, they are, uh, a little with uh, rare ideas, you know, yeah, like yeah. this, like the pendulum, uh, and pendulum, like yeah. uh, thinking about there, there's gonna be a rob. So, so for me, it's like a parallel, uh, like uh, realities that yeah. they also yeah. uh, feel, you yeah. know, like like these words, uh, like this uh, very hard reality of the dollars yeah, you have and, to the, and the and the, the jobs and that mm. and and also they 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 get in more like risk uh, mm. scenes you know right um, yeah. Yeah. yeah in the crisis you the only thing you can do it's like believe and mm. yeah. also there's something erotic about the money you yeah. know and and having money the, having the power of exchange money yeah. for another so that tension, it's, it's also in the... Yes, we are, we are all uh, crossed by money. Yeah. Me, and, and there are not For many sure. films uh, with money, but if you do a film of ma with money, they say to you that you're like a, a Robert Bresson <laughs> <laughs> imitator or a Von Stroheim Reed, for example, yeah. imitator. And the money, it's, it's, there are a lot of films about language, no? uh, the semiotics and yeah. language. There are not many films about money. And money and language are kind of similar, you know, something in the way of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a rock 
on a rock. The word rock. Yeah. There's what values and the, <laughs> yeah. the coin. Yeah, yeah. So for me, it was interesting to do this and to relate money with uh, esotericism, esotericism, uh, yeah, it's a esotericism, word. Yeah. because I, I'm a great, great fan of Balzac, for example, the uh -huh. French writer, yeah. and he has an idea of realism that it's yeah. not uh, obvious, and there are a lot of esoteric things, yeah. like uh, in his novels, no? And then I discovered that Karl Marx was a great fan of Balzac, and I started reading okay. Marx, that I really love Marx too. Mm -hmm. And there are uh, relationships with, between esotericism, uh, Christianism, esotericism, and uh, in society, no? Yeah. And, and for me, it's really interesting to see that uh, relationship between esotericism, <laughs> esotericism, <laughs> esotericism, <laughs> and capitalism. And yes. capitalism. And capitalism and esotericism are really related. And uh -huh. just a fact, like a personal fact, my father used to. My father is a really eccentric guy. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I knew him the, the, the last day that uh, he we showed agree. us the, the short. I love him, but he... I know <laughs> now uh, where uh, he has uh, material to write. Yeah, yeah, I see, I see. Yes, okay. he's uh, in the church. For example, he's an uh, Eucharistic <laughs> ministry. He works yeah. at the church. He, he helps the, the priest. Yeah. And he also, in, in one time, he get obsessed with a uh, pendulum. Yes. And he started like all the decisions in the family were based on the pendulum. The pendulum. On the pendulum. And okay. we, I don't know if this maybe is a little bit private. I don't <laughs> want to tell about that. But they, they were bad decisions because of that. The because pendulum. of the pendulum. Yes. <laughs> and the economical ones. Huh? Uh, yeah. the, our family lost uh, lots and lots of money. <laughs> no. Um, yes, 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 that's it. And, uh, oh, Lord. That's and that's really Italian. You know, like uh, in Rome, there's a lot of, uh, like, uh, you see, for example, uh, Bicycle Thief, like yeah. the Sika. Yeah. And there's a relationship between neuralism and uh, esotericism too. And, that it's, uh, yeah. and this film for I me see. is a really like a fantasy, but it's also neorealistic. Yeah, because yeah, for sure. Because I really love reality. Like, uh, what I love the most about cinema is to capture things of reality and to force like reality in order to get into the fiction. You know? like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, you said that as well, that obviously there are like these elements of reality sweeping into this fictional piece when you were like shooting and everything and all of those sounds and everything that's happening on the streets it's like very um real but then it sort of made me also question because you can really detect that this is like not staged whatsoever but then it really kind of made me think um okay what what is your aim with the film at the end of the day is it more to in one way document a, sort, a certain feeling, a certain impression of, mm -hmm. of what is very present in this society? Or is it maybe more to hold a mirror to society? I prefer like, fa for me like being like, fa fantasy is more real to reality than mm -hmm. the idea of reality. Yeah. And for me it's more like, like having an excuse with cinema to traffic some like atmosphere of, of reality. You, you can do uh -huh. that if you're like academic and you write sociology. Yeah. No? Yeah. yeah. And you can you can do it with art. Like the, the, the abstract poetry, abstract mm -hmm. atmospheres. Like it's not like a plot. It's not something concrete. It has, it's an atmosphere. Yeah. Most of the short film they, they talk a lot, but there are a lot of silent moments because I love silent movies. And there are a lot of, of moments. You see like the last lady uh, in uh, the last exchange of Paco with the lady mm. is, is silent, you know. Like, yeah. And that gestures for me are really like broader than than thesis, you know. Like, it's yeah. Not a, um, I don't like thesis film. Yeah. I don't. Uh, and I'm not really sure of what I've done because I know the structure. Yeah, right. There are two characters. You know, I, I, I explain it. It's Laila with her yeah, fantasy absolutely. and Paco with his reality. Yeah. And this is the, the script of the short. It's like a cross. Yeah. And it starts with Laila, but it ends with Paco because I don't, uh, I don't like films with a single main character. I like the idea of uh, writing more like, if it were like a forest, you know, like yeah. different elements, and you can select. You have to do the math as an as spectator. And there are a lot of people that don't want to do the math, and it's sad. But I, I'm used to see films by directors that you have to do the participate and do the math. Yeah. You know? And there's a lot of math. 
to <laughs> yeah. these shorts. <laughs> yeah, well, and the characters do a lot of math as well with the exchange yeah. rates and everything. Absolutely. Yeah, so, well, let's see. Hopefully, the the Berlinale audience will also do the math oh, for yes. you watching Thank it. You so Thank, you so Thank you so much. Thank you for being Thank here. You. Thank you. Thank you.